Kehitia. My name is uh, David Kilcullen. I'm a professor uh, in the University of New South Wales in Australia and also at Arizona State University. I'm CEO of the global consulting firm Cordillera. Um, we work on problems of urban resilience, uh, resources, conflict, and data management. Uh, I've worked pretty extensively in Africa, the Middle East, South and Southeast Asia, and Latin America, mostly on complex social conflicts and urban fr fragility and security challenges. Uh, and doing that have really lived the centrality of water and water resource management to conflict uh, and prosperity worldwide. And I joined Cadium um, pretty early on um, because it's really clear to me that making water resources visible and uh, accessible to communities themselves through democratized tech platforms and hydraulic modeling systems like Cadium is one of the most important things we can do to improve people's lives in developing and, and conflict affected areas. And I'm just very delighted to be uh, a part of this great group. As utilities uh, try to be more successful in digital transformation, what we see in the work we do with uh, cities and utilities is really five key areas. One is data transparency, which includes um, deduplicating data, uh, removing corruption from legacy uh, data systems and ensuring that there's a common operating picture derived from uh, a well-modeled hydraulic model that's available to everyone with that, that needs that data. The second key thing is legibility, making the system legible, both in terms of uh, formal and informal uses of water resources and in terms of community, uh, as well as utility and governance uh, access to it. The third, and this is super important in the current uh, environment is cyber security. So security of data, protection from ransomware, ability for people to access uh, data in a working from home setup without compromising the uh, functionality of, of SCADA systems and, uh, and data uh, transfers. And a whole raft of issues just associated with the, the data governance piece uh, in protecting data within the system. Uh, the, the fourth is access across jurisdictions. So where multiple jurisdictions share the same uh, water district or the same common uh, water utility, we see a lot of um, issues arising among people within those jurisdictions in terms of both having the same common understanding of what's going on and also feeling that they have uh, their equities being respected in the way that the data is managed. Uh, and that applies both across jurisdictions, but also within utilities so that all elements of a utility are able to see and to access uh, the, um, the, the data relevant to their operations. And the final point is that just the broader piece, which I've already touched on of data governance and ensuring that common standards are being met across different parts of utilities or different jurisdictions. Uh, and of course, needless to say, a platform like Cadium can assist with all of those, but it, the platform itself doesn't deliver that. It requires training and an understanding of how best to use the platform to achieve what you need to do and to transition from, in many cases, pretty old and pretty badly maintained uh, legacy systems. Top three challenges that we see with our client base for water utilities in the next two to three years, firstly is cybersecurity and ensuring that as more and more data is online, that risks around ransomware, uh, data destruction, disruption to, uh, to uh, data sharing systems are managed. The second is resiliency of hardware uh, and understanding through a digital twin, the status of all the critical hardware uh, in a system. And then the third one is resilience to I'm going to call it extreme weather events because we're only talking about two to three years rather than climate change per se. A lot of it is clearly climate driven, but what we're dealing with with our client base is people that have very old, in many cases, you know, long overdue uh, 
uh, for, for upgrade infrastructure uh, that's continually being battered by uh, storm surges and uh, impacts on water sanitation and a variety of other issues just as a result of that old uh, infrastructure. So they've been my top three.